Breaking news in Manchester is that there is now an official opposition. The Lib Dems have come back in Manchester. They are now the official opposition. Tim Farron has personally commended and congratulated John Leach. Now, last night, the government took another step towards Brexit. We want all of our MPs to support the opposition. And Labour voted to trigger Article 15. Labour now back in Brexit. And I don't want a country that's got 10 million more people living in it. Lucy, Labour in were accused of rolling over for the government on this, that they should have put up more resistance. I and many other MPs voted to trigger Article 50. Now, let me just say this. The Labour Party voted to trigger Article 50. What, what, what why are Labour vote? and the Tories so scared of giving people a vote on the final piece? People voted either to remain or to leave for all different reasons. When we actually get a deal on the table, we should have the trust in the people that they should then get a final say. Let's build a stronger movement to make sure that we can persuade the politicians in Westminster that we need to remain in the European Union. Thank you. There's a victory today for gay and bisexual men after a successful campaign brought a posthumous pardon for Manchester scientist Alan Turing. Thousands of others will also have their criminal records removed. Former Withington MP John Leach has been leading the campaign. He led the campaign for Turing's pardon and secured the agreement for the pardoning of all other men convicted under the abolished laws. The intention was always that this would set a precedent to get a pardon for all the people who were wrongly convicted. It's an incredibly important move and this is not before time. Equal rights are not extra rights, they're what makes this society fair and decent. Incredibly, he was the only person to stand up for the construction of this new school in an area crying out for more places. He's exposed some of the most scandalous misuses of public money our city's ever seen. Why does this council think it's okay to hand out a pay rise up to 60% when this city's treatment of the homeless has been a national disgrace? The Manchester City Council has yet to accept a single Syrian refugee. And the former MP John Leach, who is now the city's one opposition councillor, described the city council's recent record on housing Syrian refugees as appalling. Councillor John Leach says we need to do much more. Every single person in Manchester should be embarrassed by our council today. In my 21 years as a councillor and MP, I've never witnessed a more shameful and inhumane response to calls for help. John Leach secured the life-saving treatment for Rebecca's son's rare case of CMD. People like Rebecca desperately need this support and we're just standing by. For about the last 20 odd years we've been doing regular clean-ups across the whole of South Manchester. Something that we've done for years and it's an important part of the work that we do to keep the area clean and tight. John Leach today accused Manchester Council of a Labour-style social cleansing as they approved the construction of more than 2,500 homes, not a single one of which they could guarantee will be affordable. Many local people will never be able to afford to live where they were born and brought up in because this council is refusing to guarantee affordable homes and insisting on pushing them out. Today, Manchester Council agreed to demand from John Leach to implement the Ask for Andrew scheme. This follows a campaign led by the former MP to increase safety in the city after he uncovered a worrying spike in sexual attacks. A row erupted in Manchester's town hall today after the leader of the council, Richard Lees, banned John Leach, the city's only opposition member, from asking any questions about the controversial closure of Lady Barnes Community Centre. Day by day, this one man is having an enormous impact. He stood up for decent and tolerant values while facing a barrage of abuse. And he's never given up. He never stopped fighting to make today better than yesterday. And tomorrow, even better than today.